hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support i really do appreciate it so coming back today with issue 80 of the magazine I did say that the kit in this is absolutely beautiful uh, magazine as usual has got some um, papers in the middle i believe where are they we've got templates as usual i think it's there so you've got your sort of marble and then you've got your sort of patterned with that lovely border obviously loads of um loads of inspiration cards in there as well plus a few sneak peeks and that sort of thing but this is the kit the eternal blooms and i have to say this is the the best kit of the year this is kit of the year i don't know why they've done it as a magazine because it is gorgeous um, so you've got these beautiful roses you've got like text here you've got over foiling you've got the foiled frame here you've got like gold splatter dots foiling it's just amazing and that in itself is just gorgeous if you wanted to add some gold flakes to that that would raise that as well that is the foil piece of this um, beautiful decoration at the top and then you've got the sort of i don't know if it's a rose i think it is like a, a rose this is quite peony-ish as well and you've got the text on this is one of the um, papers that's in the kit sort of match one to each color um, this one is the perfect posy calla lilies um, looks like a christmas sort of rose there or a hellebore um, that is the toppers loads on there as usual then you've got that beautiful calla lily and this is just i mean look at that just as a card on its own would be just gorgeous it's just it's just amazing this kit is just amazing um and then you've got my favorite which is the hyacinths not hyacinths um hydrangeas that's it um so lots of toppers on here lots of sentiment ones as well you've got four there um three toppers again that beautiful foiled frame and you've got that printed card stuck again carrying on with a theme quite dark quite beautifully gothic it's not like dark gothic it's beautifully beautifully gothic and this foiling of that hydrangea over there is just gorgeous and look at that as well and then this one you were born to stand out with this beautiful um sort of arrangement of flowers you've got the the hellebores I think that might be either a dahlia or a peony. That's a peony, definitely. Maybe some sweet peas. I don't know. I'm not great with my flowers, I have to be honest. But it does seem to be sort of um, beautiful flowers there on the bottom and the top. So whatever way I use that, I know I'm going to get some. And then we've got um, get some flowers on, I mean. Um, this one, we've got the foiling on both corners. So that to me in itself is two beautiful cards. And then you've got the um, printed papers again. And then you've got um, two acetates, one with the text on. And this text is quite similar to the one that was in the um, members free gift. Some of the printed papers had that text on. And then you've got this one, which is sort of like spatter dots, gold or silver, depending on which way you're looking at it. So today I thought I would play with actually my favourite, even though it's not my favourite colours, which is this one, this rose arrangement. So we will save those for another day. I need to find a wallet for those to go in. And you. Down there. And what I thought I'd do today is um, just use these two smallest. Oh, let me bring it in so I can show you use these two smallest toppers here and um, some of the paper and this foiled sheet as well so that is the plan for today one is an easier card than the other one is a little bit new to me but not that new I have done it before I don't think it worked out quite well last time but the one I did to practice with went well so let me just click that off my screen because I've got a weird message there and that one okay so i'm going to start with a piece of 6 by 12 300 gsm white card and i'm going to start and i'm going to score at three and at six right got done it wrong already Ooh. let's try that again we want three and five we want three 
and six. So that is the first one. And then I'm going to take another piece just because this is the cardstock I've got to hand. And this is why I was thinking of the five. I'm going to score that at five. Okay, so let's get rid of that out of the way. And I'm going to pull that that way around actually, slightly wider on that side. And then this one, again, a whiter side, so that's going to be a valley and then a mountain. I'm going to give that a good branch down. Right, let's bring in the trimmer and I'm going to take this one that I've scored at five and I'm just going to cut that to five by five. If you've got a five by five card blank, Obviously, you don't need to do this step. You can just use your 5x5 five five card blank. And that's going to be a lot easier for you. Okay, so those are the pieces we need. So let's start bringing in some layers. So um, there is going to be decoration on this back piece. That's where I'm going to put the papers. So I'm going to take two notches off two of the sides just to give me a really thin border. So that one's going to go on there and then I also want a piece for here which is three by six so I'm going to bring in another piece here and I'm going to cut that two notches under the three two notches under the six that will go on there this is going to be too small for anything so I'm putting that in my bit box and I know it's, I oh know actually I have got a piece of A4 here, let's use this. So I've got a piece of A4 memory card and I'm just doing a mat for here. So we know that's five by five. So I'm just going two notches under the five and two notches under the five onto there. That can go in my bit box. That can go back over there. Okay, so let's grab the sheets I'm going to be using. So I'm hoping it's going to cut quite nicely with this one. But this piece is going on this big back panel because you aren't going to see an awful lot of it. So rather than waste the good cardstock, I'm going to use the paper. So this needs to be uh, five and three quarter squares or squared. And that will fit onto the pack. I'll neaten up that edge in a minute with the guillotine. Um, and then this piece here, I'm going to start by cutting it at five and three quarters because that is going to be my longest piece. And then I think we'll go two and three quarters. No, let's not do it that way. Let's do two and three quarters that way. And that will go on to that piece there. And then this piece, we're going to cut down to four and three quarters. And this is going to go on the front of my card. On there. Okay, so those are the pieces. I'm going to throw those bits away because I don't think I'm going to be using them. I've said that before and then had to dig things out of the, the trash or the bin. Okay, so let's start. Actually, I said I was going to tidy that up with the guillotine, didn't I? So let's do that before I forget. And it's just because that trimmer doesn't really like paper, especially it doesn't mind matastic paper if the blade is pretty um, sharp. But it really doesn't like this shiny paper. So I'm just literally just nipping or tidying up the end on it. So you can see I've hardly taken any at all. Okay. So I'm going to start. So it's going to bring in the glues I'm going to be using. So I've got the cloud all purpose glue in there. I've got my cloud tacky glue in there. Because I'm using paper. I'm also going to be using my hunky-dory permanent dot pen. 
Um, so I'm thinking it's going to look better. Let me just see against the red, I think. I think that's going to be a bit too busy. Yeah, that would be definitely be too busy. So let's make sure we put our dots on the right side. So covering up these flowers and then I can use my all-purpose glue in the middle which is going to allow me just to float this into place and then those dots will hold it steady while um, the glue is drying oops sticking to my hands a little bit for some reason Give that a good press down, make sure all that glue has made connection. Last thing we want is any bubbles. So I'm just going to give that a good flex and then we can go ahead and glue this to the back of my card. And this, I think it's called something like a an easel Z fold fun fold. Just for ease, I'm just going to call it a fun fold. So that one's going to go on to there, like so. Just make sure that's nice and straight. And then, because this is card, we can just go back to my normal glues. A little bit of all purpose. A little bit of tacky in those corners. And then we can pop that place, slide it on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto my card. So again, same glues. So I'm just going to pop that onto there. And I can see this corner here is lifting. It does seem to have a bit of glue under it. All I'm going to do is bring in my reverse um, tweezers, just pop those on the corner just to keep that down while it glues. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll move on to this one. Now I haven't downloaded the inserts yet, but when I do, in here is where you're going to put the insert way or leave it blank um, for it to be written into. So this is the sort of business end of the card if you like. And then again, just decorating it as usual. I'm not going to put any ribbon on, but you could definitely sort of really make this sexier if you like with a bit of ribbon. For want of a better word, just make sure it just needs to go up just a tiny little bit and over. Maybe Good press down again. I'm just going to flex that card back backwards because it does seem to be trying to lift. And I think it might be to do with the mirror card being a little bit curvy. So I'll just put an extra bit of glue there. Okay, so once we've got it all into position, it should all settle down. So then we've got this piece here. And this is going to go, make sure I've got that open in the right way. Just give that a good press down. And ease that into position. Okay, so I'm just going to give that a minute to um, glue and then I'm just going to think about which one I want where and I think I'm going to go with this one I'll put this on as well we'll see what that one looks like but I initially was thinking the green one Gonna go with the green one, and I think 
coming back in that green with the from me to you so birthday wishes from me to you we have got another button there i don't know if i'm going to use that yet we'll see how we go okay let's have a little look at that so that's settled down quite nicely and at the moment you can see that is what you have so it's a bit like um, a card with a step but um you haven't got that sort of opening action like you would normally have with a card okay now what i want to do is take the back of this card and cover it with my glues a little bit of that tacky glue and then if i very carefully open that up I want that to be in the middle and sort of straight I'm going to give that a good press down I'm thinking that looks good okay so that is where we are up to and then this is just one whole top so nothing to pop out so I'm just going around and just cleaning up these little pips that are poking out just because they are gold um, and they are going to show up against that black. There we go. And have I got any in here? Yes, I have. There we go. Okay. So I actually need some four meter foam pads, which I haven't got ready. So I'm just going to pop. These are the Affixit ones that I'm using today. Um, as usual, I'm cutting them down to fit my project. And on. And I'm thinking which side is. I might go to the left and I can have some gems there so let's go ahead and pop this down so if you take the backs off just gonna put some tacky glue on you can use your glue sticks you know the ones that uh, hunky dory do you can even use your all-purpose glue just something that's just going to stop those pads gluing straight away and it just gives you a minute or so. I say a minute, it's not an actual minute. Just gives you a little bit of time just to get that into position. Now this one, because it is gonna be uh, act as my stopper, what I want to do is just make sure I'm only putting pads on half of it. But I do want to make sure that I'm giving it as much opportunity as I can to stick to my card keep those little bits they can come in handy for when you've got some decollage something like that I'm going to take both sides off because um, I can see better where it ends that one like so looks like a pair of pants or underwear well, for you American people because pants do use trousers trousers okay so what I want to do now, and I'm just checking my little one that I prepared before my little model one. So I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to pop that in the middle. And I'm hoping that's going to be around about straight. Give that a little minute to take while I grab some gold maybe gems just because I think they're going to be the best thing to show up on this. So I'm a bit annoyed that that's just got a little bit of paper sticking out, but we'll disregard that. So I'm just going to go one, two, three. You could go um, in a sort of pattern. You could do them random, however you feel. I don't think I want to go quite that big. Give these a little bit of a shake up. Get to the point where there's quite a few large ones in here now and not so many smaller ones. 
I have got another pot. Let's grab the, no, let's not grab the other pot. We need to use these up for us, so don't be too lazy. Okay, right, we'll go with this one, this one, and this one. This is a little sticks to pick up pen. The reason why it's got tape on the end is for some reason the lead is still, um, whenever I press down on it a little bit, it comes at the end. So I've just used some hunky dory tape to um, stop that happening. Okay, and then underneath here, what I'm going to do is just pop one in each corner. So keeping with my little odd number, you know I like. There's one. There's two. Just got an escaped one there. Now let's just see if that's still moving. It is a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that as it is, let it dry. I'm going to get set up for card number two and then at the end I'll show you how this one stands. Okay, I've got like, I'll show you my little mock-up. This is just me practicing beforehand. So you can see I've followed that. And then when the way this stands up is it just tucks under there and it will stand like so. Okay, but you will see that by the end of the video when that dries. I just, it's still moving around a little bit and I don't want to put it underneath and then it smush all the glue and then there's going to be glue marks all over my card. So I'm going to be sensible. I'm going to give that 10, 15 minutes on my next card and um, we'll come back and I'll show you how that one goes up at the end. Okay, so bear with me, I'm just gonna get set up for card number two. Okay, so for card number two, what I wanted to do is, um, again, use just this one topper. And I thought, because the card stock is so beautiful, I wanted to do it um, a nice, easy card, but one that's got the, the sort of, um, you know, it's got a wow factor to it. So I'm gonna use my little stepper template. So this is on YouTube, it's also on Pinterest, uh, it's also on my Facebook page as well. So just have a little look on there if you haven't seen the template yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another piece of 6x12, 300 GSM white card, and I'm popping it over to the 1 inch mark of my trimmer. I'm putting my blade at 1 inch, uh, I'm cutting right down to the 7, and then I'm going to whip that over do exactly the same only this time I'll take it from seven to one so it's still one to seven okay and that is going to be the cutting for that um, stepper so let's bring in my scoreboard and need my little score tool and I'm gonna score at one, two, and seven. And I'm just going to turn it over and do exactly the same again. One, two, and seven. And then if I grab a ruler, put that to the six inch mark. And I'm just going to score in the centre there. I don't know what black stuff is. There we go. And that is all we need to do for that. So let's pop that one out of the way. And then we just need to... Oh, what's that cut there? Let me grab my knife. For some reason, I've not pressed down enough, but mark is there so I'll just give it a little that's it so we're just going to fold that down that down just be a little bit gentle with it and then just fold those in and then gradually what you're going to find is that your piece of card is going to fold down into this lovely little six by six stepper 
your paint edges burnished down. There we go. So we've got a little actually with a little burnish there. A little stepper card, however you want to do it. So let's bring the trimmer back in and I'm gonna grab another gold um, Mary Matte 6x6. Six so the first one I'm going to do is this one across here because it's the longest. It's one by six. So I'm going to take two notches off that one and two notches off that six. And that is that piece that's going to go there. And then if we turn this around, so now this is five inches that way, six inches across. These two um, pieces here on each end are one by five, so I can go two notches under the one twice, and then they are going to be two notches under five. So that is that piece from there, and again, that one under there. And then this one is for here, and that's going to be four by five. So I'm going to take two notches off that four, two notches off that five, and then we've got our piece of mini card that goes in there. Okay, and then if I bring back in that beautiful cardstock, I'm going to go three quarters of an inch across the top so this is going to be my bottom piece and then that's going to be so that's three quarters of an inch by five and three quarters so we've got that black drama with that gold and the spatter there um, and then I'm going to I'm going to be wasting some of this because I want this uh, trim at the top on the sides I'm using the bottom pieces for my, that piece there. Okay, so let me do these pieces first of all. So I need two pieces that are gonna be three quarters of an inch by four and three quarters. So let's do, oops, we can bleed, there it is. So let's do those. And on this case, I want this more at the top. So let's go four and three quarters and I don't know if I want that piece or not but we'll pop it to the side and then again four and three quarters and then this piece here again is going to be um, five by four so we're going to take it to four and three quarters by three and three quarters so four and three quarters, no, three and three quarters. So I think we'll go there. And then that needs to be four. No, I want the rose this time. Okay. So that is going to be our piece that's going to go into there. Okay, so we've still got quite a nice little piece there. We could make a nice little map with that if we wanted to. Probably not going to, but we'll keep it all together just in case. So let's go ahead and give some little bark and pop some of these together. Sometimes I find it easier to open it up, sometimes I don't. Uh, let's start with these side pieces first of all. So I'm going to pop my two glues on and then pop that into place. Just making sure that I've got nice even borders. And the thing about this is the way it folds up, you're not really going to see the bottom. So make sure your sides and top are even. Doesn't really matter so much about that bottom piece. Um, and then we've got another piece here for the other side. Again, both my glues stand up. 
and then we're going to pop this one onto here. Now, because lately, for some reason, I found that these smaller pieces have been popping up. Um, what I'm going to do is just pop a little bit of um, the dotty tape pen on the top. Some of my usual all-purpose. Turn this around because I want that foiling at the top. And I'm going to pop that on. Maneuver that into position. And then I can just press down on those dots and that's going to hold it in place. I'm just going to make sure I do make good connection now. Again, and it's only just a little bit. It's not even like loads of glue. Just a little tiny bit just to hold it while the other glue is settling and drying. And I'm going to do it with all of these smaller ones. And I don't know why it's a, it's a new problem. So I'm thinking maybe it's about the... Um, let's glue down there where it shouldn't have. Um, the temperature in here being a little cooler. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh, that's looking nice already. So again, normal glues for this piece. You could use your dotty tape pen if you wanted to. I'm going across like so. Um, I think it went go that way or did it go that way? Again, it looks better that way, so I don't think it really matters. It's probably going to have a, a sentiment on it anyway. So again little bit of my glue just to get that floated into um, position. And let's just grab this a little bit too soon. Come on. That's it. Now it's your, your end, is it? Still could have gone down a little bit, I think. We will leave it as it is, I think, or oh, will we? No, we won't, because it's in me. Come on. Let's just go a tiny little. Yeah, happy there. There we are, happy. Okay, so these I'm just going to do as usual. So, all purpose glue. Or hunky dory um, construction glue, whichever is your favourite. You may have another glue you like. You might like to just use the tape pen. It's up to you, whatever you are using that works for you. So horses for courses. And again, there's nothing stopping you popping this through um, an embossing folder. Um, I would say the Lisa Horton 3D script would look beautiful on this. Uh, you don't have to put all of the plates in to get such a deep impression. But I think it would look nice with that embossed script on it as well. Alright, okay. And that in itself is a really pretty card. But we are going to bring our little bit of love in. And let's see what little sentiments we've got on here. We've got a rose, we've got a hope all your dreams come true on your special day. So I'm not going to use any of those. Let's have a little look in the little book. Sentiments. Uh, so we've got red and black. I don't think we really want black because that's not going to show. I might get away with green and gold, but I've got a feeling all the greens are silver. Have a look. I don't think there's any red in this one. Got black. Oh, it's a shame that's not a red to my gorgeous fiance. Let's look. Let's see what other ones we've got. P. 
pink, purple, white. Oops, there goes my glues. Just for you, happy birthday. Scent of love. Also got some of these darker colours. There's a green in the silver. I don't think there's any red in this pad, unfortunately. Let's work on the black there. Got oh, congratulations on your wedding day. That might look nice, mightn't it? Let's pop that out. Do a little red red. Let me just grab the other bit of pad that I've got. And there it is. Quite especially for my fiance. Thinking to you, to a wonderful boyfriend. Let's see what that looks like. I don't think this is the right red. I know. See, it looks a bit too red red. Right, we'll pop those away. I think we have got. Our congratulations on your wedding day. Let me just just smarten those edges up. And if I grab those papers. To do that, it's Bring in my trimmer. So this is, let's see, so it's, if I did, two by one and a half. And so, if I do two notches under the two, just need a little gold frame. I'm using my other trimmer for this because it is slightly bigger getting those smaller. So this needs to be two by one and a half. Just go ahead, I'm just going to use my dots in this one. Come on now. Okay, and we'll put a little bit of glue on just to float it. See how nervous I get about this sort of thing. as we are going to get and then we've got this piece here which is now going to pop up a little bit from there you could round those corners if you wanted to um, obviously I didn't today let's just cut that down a little bit across 
there. Again, this is just a one millimetre. A little bit of glue. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get it straight, but. See that? Not straight at all. Leave it like that and put a pearls just slightly slightly more to one side than I like. Alright, okay, I don't want to cover too much of this up. So let's see. Black just really shows up any of these little pips. This was supposed to be my faster card. I'm actually thinking that I don't really need that. Maybe that's just better as it is. Because if I put this on, I'm going to be covering all that beauty up. So I'm going to just not decision made it's just not if it's beautiful without it I'm not going to use it now I'm wishing I got that little straighter but it's fine okay so next what we're going to do in the way of gems let's have a look. probably going to go with the gold again some are falling in the bin, that's not great. Um, green, blue, let's go to the gold. Let's go to the gold. Okay, grab some of those. Can maybe I should go with some. Really big ones on these corners. Back on there. I don't know if I like that one or not. Let's see if there's four slightly smaller ones. I know I've got to use these big ones up at some point, but they might not be the day. Let's get there. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that I think. That kind of carries those dots down a little. I might swap that one though because that one is just a little paler. Can hear you. There we go, I'll go with that one the same size. So let's just spread those over. Okay, so we can just pop a nice amount of glue in these corners. Yeah. 
There you go. You might want to make that a little bit more of a feature maybe if uh, you are copying, um, but it's up to you. So these ones are just going to need tiniest little dots of glue. Disappearing. Let's, do, let's pop you on there for now. Grab you, grab you. Where have you gone? There you are. And I'm only putting this amount on because this is what's comfortable to me. If you want to put more on, if you want to. Um, well that is a bit of white stuff if you want to um, pop them all up around here you could do if you've got um, like a little stents um, you can get sort of gem stencils where it goes into a sort of flourish or, or whatever you could definitely bring that in and do your gems up around there and really add because the middle bit hasn't got so much of the gold on whereas this has got that raining down but that is card number two so I think that's stunning nice and easy as well I mean literally a bit of cardstock from that kit and that's it okay so I promised I'd bring in that other card so let's move that over so this card the steps come forward they fit underneath and it's going to stand like that so hopefully you can see that I hold it that way you can see and it stands really nicely on a shelf as well I will take really good photos of it they'll go on my Pinterest they'll go on Facebook as well today uh, shortly actually um, you'll see them there before you see uh, the video and the video takes about two three hours to edit and it's now coming up for seven o'clock so this is going to be a late one apologies about that um, but that's it for today so um, next time coming back with um, another one from that magazine magazine number 80 and this beautiful beautiful kit probably going to be the green ones to um tomorrow um not tomorrow the next day so what day we wednesday so that'll be friday we'll come back with green ones um worth watching tomorrow if you're watching um hunky dory tomorrow for the kit that's coming tomorrow because it's the golden oldies one and it is like i i wasn't really into any of the previous golden oldie kits that were like many many years ago um, but the artwork on this one is is really lovely and there's one in there I can't remember which one it is but there's a little old lady in there that looks that looks, just looks like my mum um, so I'm definitely getting that kit I will be working through that kit on video um, for you so it's worth having a little look if you're thinking about getting that video um, getting that that kit definitely be watching Hunky Dory tomorrow because you're definitely going to be seeing that on my channel in the future um, but that's it for today thank you so much for watching um, until next time happy crafting bye